Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter 3 talking about the test types and the test process for mobile applications and continuing ahead with the next part of it which is 3.3 Experience Based Test Techniques. Just like all formal techniques, we do have the uh, utilization of experience-based techniques into the mobile application testing as well, which certainly adds a lot of value from the user perspective. It does help you to measure the app from different point of view and add a lot of value to it. And there are different techniques compared to the one which you learned in the foundation in the mobile application testing, which can be categorized as a part of the uh, experience-based testing techniques of the mobile applications. The number one we're talking about is personas. The personas are basically a very common term used in Agile where the pattern of writing this user story itself includes a person replacing that user story saying that for example if I'm talking about a retail application I say as a sales rep this is what I'm expected to do or I should be able to do this. Now, similarly, when you talk about a medical application, I would say, as a doctor, I should be able to do that. As a nurse, I would be able to do that. As a particular specialist, I should be able to do that or perform this activity. Now, that's the pattern which basically utilizes not only the, uh, the way or the format of writing a user story, but also gives you the convenience of understanding that how the access or the permissions can also be varied depending on the user profiles. And those user profiles are here referred to as personas. Now, personas are fictional uh, characters which represent real customers. They have motivations, expectations, problems, habits, and goals. It helps to use them when real users' behavior needs to be mimicked. Also, a persona could have a name, gender, age, income, an educational background, and even a location. In a mobile context, they may use other apps, check their mobile device a number of times and are and can have other device and personal traits. Now, of course, the persona should be covering every single thing which makes a difference be between your users in order to be tested. Now, this is more of like driven without the test cases by just behaving or mimicking the real user profile and see that what happens if a student interacts with it, what happens if a professional interacts with it, what could be his intentions or her intention as well. Certainly, the age group does matter here and many other factors which need to be included. There's another one which is called as mnemonics. The mnemonics are another technique which is used for doing something similar to what the persona does. So mnemonics is a memory aid to remember something which is basically a short form of big thing put together. For example, you might have heard of a lot of acronyms. Why do you use acronyms? It's because the longer term would be difficult to understand. For example, CMMI is a short term. Or there are a lot of other terms which are basically acronymed. For example, SAFE. SAFE is a very popular term today in Agile. That are you following the SAFE methodology? But what is SAFE? SAFE stands for Scaled Agile Framework. Now that's not a short form of it, but we say it as SAFE, right? So similarly here, this is a mnemonics, which is a memory aid to remember a longer or bigger thing as a concept in the short form. In the context of testing, every letter in a mnemonics stands for a technique, a testing method, or a focal point for the testing. An example of mnemonic is SFIDPOT. Now let's see what does SFIDPOT stands for. The SFIDPOT stands for these uh, you know, abbreviation. For example, S goes to structure, F goes to function, I goes to input, D goes to data, P goes to platform, O goes to operation, and T goes to time. Now, this is not actually a terminology or something. It's just that making sure that these are the things which need to be taken into account by a QA team or any other one to consider while testing the scenarios. Structure goes, of course, with the structure of the application or calling hierarchy of an application. Functions are the various functions and requirements which are delivered to you. Input is, of course, the input available uh, and process as they should be and trying to see what are the various sensors and what are the input methods to the system, a lot many other things. Now also, if you talk about the platform, these are the environments, operations are basically the activities which are generally performed and the time taken to complete that. 
Also to add the another example of mnemonic and heuristic specifically dealing with I sliced up fun. Now that looks, looks like a very casual statement but the I sliced up fun stands for a value. Where I goes with inputs, S goes with stores, L goes with location, I goes with interaction and interruptions, C goes with communication, E goes with ergonomics, D goes with data, U goes with usability, P goes with platform, F goes with function, U goes with user scenario, and S goes with network. So mnemonics and heuristics specifically dealing with mobile is generally covering all these factors which either include the testing to be conducted for input, and testing to be conducted for external things. And we just want to make sure that all these things are up to the mark to be covered as a part of mobile application testing. Finally to add, there's another technique which we can use in the experience-based technique, which is called as heuristics. Now a heuristic approach is a rule of thumb approach to problem solving, learning and discovery that employs a practical method this does not guarantee to be an optimal or perfect, but can be considered as sufficient for achieving the immediate goals. There are many heuristics for mobile application testing. Most mnemonics can also be used as heuristic, but not every heuristic is a mnemonic. Now, that's in standard information which you need to take into account where you can say that it's not vice versa true. So most mnemonics can be heuristic, but not every heuristic is a mnemonic. So putting it all together, we just covered few of the techniques from the experience-based testing techniques today. We'll be adding more to it in our next session. This is just the part one of the experience-based testing to give you the highlight. We'll just be covering another one with the next tutorial. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.